everybody, this is Piper here, and today we're going to talk about Game Ranger and how to get to, how to get connected to the Game Ranger servers. So if you're trying to play Rome to War, if you're new to the game and you try and play online, you will discover that when you click multiplayer and try and connect, it won't let you. It will just basically time out. And this is because the Game Spy server shut down. Uh, it was about June last year. And basically that meant all the games that use GameSpy to power the game, for example, Rome Total War, uh, Medieval Total War, it basically meant that you couldn't play those games online with the current platform. So what happened was you can actually buy the game from Steam and Steam put aside some servers for Rome Total War players. And that was really, that was really good of them. Um, it's a good platform, Steam. The only thing is, I don't know what happened, but the migration from GameSpy to Steam has meant that there's quite a lot of lag on the servers. So if you're playing anything like 3 versus 3, 4 versus 4, and the host has a bad connection, or anyone has a bad connection, it will usually mean that the game lags quite a lot. However, Game Ranger, uh, that's the alternative way of playing uh, Rome to War online. You tend to find that because it uses peer-to-peer -peer connection, you have a lot less lag. So even if the host has a poor connection, uh, there'll still be lag, but it's a lot less. And in my opinion, it's a much better way of playing the game online than Steam. So what we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through how to get connected to the Game Ranger and basically how to get the game loading up properly and how to get it all working properly. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a, a disc version of Rome to War and you can get that off Amazon. I've got the, the Amazon, well I bought mine off Amazon, I've got the Rome to War Anthology Edition. So you get basically all the three games, Rome to War, Barbarian Invasion, and Alexander and I think it's roughly about about six pounds so we'll check that out right now so we can see here this is the Rome Tour Anthology Edition so you get all three games the first game the expansion pack Barbarian Invasion and Alexander and all these games are really good and you see here the price is eight pounds forty or you can go through the, the marketplace and get it for a bit cheaper. I think it's about, about £4 elsewhere. So there we have new, basically £7. You can probably get it cheaper elsewhere. I paid about a fiver for it. It's on a special offer. Um, so it's, it's basically buying a disc, but the game's really good. And I mean, 4 or £5, how much is that for how much time you're going to be playing the game? Not very really much. So it's quite a, good, quite a good price in my opinion. So you need to buy that. Or buy any disc. You can even buy a cheap one as well. Just the, the bog standard first edition. Uh, if you can find that on here as well. So Rome to War. So you can even buy the just the first edition. Get it for like one pence. For uh, that'll be our used version. So it's basically just get the, the CD key, get the disc, and basically what we do now is we need to download Game Ranger. So go to Game Ranger website and download Game Ranger. And once you've downloaded the the Game Ranger, you need to go to uh, you need to create an account, and then basically it will automatically find your games. So you've got all games here. This is all the games that Game Ranger supports. But we can still look at uh, my games. I only have Rome Tour installed on my computer right now. Um, I do have Steam installed as well, but it's the only game that I have installed out with Steam. So that should uh, automatically detect all the games that you have on your computer. Um, what you might need to do is you might need to go down to Options and go down to Rome Tour War. Just to check it's all working. So we have room to war there, and we we'll look at browse. So this is where the game. This is where Game Ranger loads the game from. I need to find that icon there. So that should be uh, program files times eighty six. If using Windows eight, Creative Assembly, Room to War, uh, Room to War. 
and it's important that it's running this off the actual disc and not the Steam version. So basically, if that says Steam, if that says Program Files Time 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Rome Total War, that'll be trying to run it off the Steam version. You need to run it off the disc version. So that's really, really important you get that right. So basically, we've installed Game Ranger. Well, we've basically bought our disc, we've installed Game Ranger, and we made sure that the disc is being... The game is being run off the disc and not the Steam version. So now it's just a case of looking at the games that are available. So you go down to My Games, and these are all the games that you can play. The proper software's been installed, I've got Room to War installed. These are the games that I can play, and it's just basically a game of... Uh, it's just basically going into a game, and it will say Preparing Connection. You go into the game, and then... Uh, here we have Hamilcar Barker, that's the player called. He'll be the host and he'll choose when the game loads up. And basically, um, the game loads straight into multiplayer. And what happens is you have to join the game for multiplayer. So it's exactly the same as Steam, except it goes through this initial stage beforehand. If you want to create a game, you go to host game. And then click the game there. And then that's you basically created a game. And you get room options, you can change things around. Um, and then people would join that game and then you click start. And then it's just a case of doing exactly what you do before in using GameSpy and Steam, except it's a little bit of work beforehand. Well, it's not really work, it's just basically loading up the game. So there's my tutorial on using Game Range to play uh, Rome Tour online. Uh, definitely consider using Game Ranger versus Steam. There's a lot less lag, and you're, you should find the connections a lot more stable and a lot better because it's peer-to-peer -peer connection. So definitely download Game Ranger and see if you like it. Uh, obviously, keep on playing Steam as well, but in my opinion, uh, Game Ranger is better. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.